Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider here with Jay Hernandez to talk about the season finale of Magnum P.I. About last night, I just wanted to say nothing happened. I'm sorry? Between me and Leah, I, I know what it looked like. And uh, yeah, nothing happened. You're an adult, you don't have to explain yourself to me. Yeah, I know, it just seemed like you were bothered or I don't know, maybe not bothered, but something. I was just surprised as well. Fair enough. What, is season four already? Season four, yeah. It's kind yeah. of flown by in a weird way, you know? It has. I think about shows when I cover them year after year, and it's like, okay, here, we're, we're doing this again. Like, you know, and we'll yeah. start on season five soon, hopefully, it's, I'm guessing. Yeah, it'll, it's, it's going to happen. You, okay, you, good, you, good. You, you can take that to the bank. We're, we'll be I'm, all right. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Um, so, of course, it's season finale time. So, of course, I'm going to ask you the same question. I pretty much ask you every finale. What's going to get in the way of Magnum and Higgins finally taking that step? Because I get teased about it all the time. That's what we see in the rundowns. Like, it, it, what, what's going to get in the way this time? I feel like something will. Uh, something always <laughs> has to. You know, in, in my mind, it, they can't end up together. Not yet. If they do, yeah. that means it's the end of the show. That's, that's how I feel. <laughs> So uh, it, it's kind of, you know, with, without giving away too much of what takes place in the finale, I think you're going to see, uh, you're going to get into Magnum's perspective of it because throughout the course of particularly this season, you know, Higgins is going through therapy. She's talking about these dreams she's having. There's these dream sequences we shot that were really great. Uh, and a lot of it's been from her perspective, but now you're going to kind of see Magnum's side of it. Um, but ultimately, something will get between us for sure. Of course, <laughs> but also the, it also has to be a case. And I know this one concerns Katsumoto and his ex-wife. Well, what's going on there? Yeah, she gets kidnapped, and um, uh, Katsumoto is asked to do something that will compromise him as a police officer. So. Uh, I, th I think it's it was a really great storyline. It was something that uh, Eric, the showrunner, and I talked about for some time. And I was like, we got to do it. We got to, you know, because he's so clean and sort of straight edge, you know, he's by the book. And uh, you're going to see him sort of go off script and, you know, kind of get into some dark territory. And I think what happens in the season finale is going to bleed into next season. And you may see a completely different version of uh, Detective Katsumoto, which I'm very excited about. And I, I think I heard there's also a baby probably coming in the finale. Because Rick and Susie. Yeah, yeah there's, there's yeah. Uh, the, the, the culmination of that whole uh, storyline. Um, um, uh, Rick and Susie are, are sort of going to another uh, place in the relationship. <laughs> and and it's 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 strange because it's like developing concurrently concurrent with this with this child being born you know they already have a kid but they don't really have a relationship totally yeah. yet which is like an interesting <laughs> thing to, to to witness for magnum and for all these characters um but yeah it's it's like the thing i love about being this deep into the uh the show is that there's a shorthand between all these characters and the audience and now that we don't have to sort of do the groundwork, we can go deeper into their lives and, and explore, you know, for, for Katsumoto, some of the darker aspects of it, and for, for Rick's character, some of the lighter aspects of, you know, bringing new life into the world and growing the Ohana and all that. So, yeah, I think it's, I think it's really cool. And, 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 you know, with my episode that I actually directed, we still get some of the old school vibe, you know, we bring Nuzo back and uh, Magnum's engaging with that and then trying to vindicate his friend, um, his brother in arms, you know, all that. So, yeah, I think it's, I think being this deep into the show and and not getting sort of bogged down and, and, and boring and doing the same thing over and over because yeah. it's, you know, you fall into a rhythm in these kind of shows where you just kind of like, uh you know case of the week do do the same things by the numbers <laughs> and yeah. uh you know that's what we're trying to avoid it creatively i i have this i've had this discussion with eric and and some of the other people involved um you know i just want to take risks and do things that are different and and the thing that that with that i have with Nuzo was essentially a risk and not only was it a risk to do something that we hadn't done on the show 
uh, it was it was a risk to the, let me to direct it, you know. Yeah. So so I, I love the fact that we're that <laughs> that they have our back in that way, and they're letting us kind of like stretch out and try some things that are maybe a little different and unexpected. Tell me about directing, though. If directing yourself wasn't a big challenge, what was the biggest challenge since this was your first time doing the show? Uh, it was it was a challenge for a lot of reasons. It was a challenge because there was no blueprint in terms of how to shoot the Nuzo stuff, you know, because it was like this yeah. internal world that was uh, shot alongside the actual real world, you know? So it, we, we had to find a way to make that transition and, and make it smooth and, and, and tell that story. And then we got into the ocean and ocean, <laughs> oceans and water present all kinds of complications. So we were kind of all over the place. It was nice knowing and understanding that they didn't give me an easy episode to shoot and they put me in every frame yeah. of the episode. So they had a bit of faith in my ability to pull it off. <laughs> Magnum PI season finale Friday on CBS.